Well, hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to show you my little project that the uh, that a client of mine brought into me um, not too long ago. And what we have here is a Microsoft Zoom player. And it's 120 gigabyte, and the hard drive's bad on it. And so, what we're going to do is swap out that hard drive, and what we're going to replace it with is this nice new zero insertion force. 128 gigabyte solid state hard drive. What's this, what this is going to do is allow it to transfer music a lot faster, of course, because it's solid state, it's not mechanical. Um, and it's going to extend the battery life probably about at least 30, maybe 40% is uh, what I've read on the internet uh, from people who have uh, upgraded to the solid state hard drives. So um, I'll get started and we'll check back in. Okay, so I've gone and removed the uh, hard drive. This is the original Samsung hard drive that came with the, uh, the Zoom player. Uh, yes, I realize that the Zoom player is 2017 and Microsoft no longer supports Zoom, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Zoom, out of the box, actually had better audio than the iPod Classic and certainly better than the um, iPods. Um, it, they just had a, a much a far superior sound to them um, with no tweaking. Now obviously iPods can be tweaked, uh, particularly the iPod Classic. Uh, they can be tweaked and the circuits re, re, um, refiltered uh, and you can have much superior audio than the Zune stock. But in the meantime, we have our zip drive. This is what we're here to do. We're going to get it in. And then we have to do some magic so that we can update the firmware because Microsoft quit um, any support for it. So we have to, you know, not quite magic, but certainly um, <laughs> maybe some uh, hacking voodoo to get the firmware reloaded back onto this drive here. Um, and of course, doing this, we can't transfer the music off of this one onto this one. Um, because I, I don't have a zip adapter, uh, although I assume that I probably could clone the two. Um, uh, so your music has to be obviously re-uploaded to it, but again, that's going to be a mighty fast task. Uh, the only limiting factor is going to be uh, the, the, the USB 2, um, because it's not USB 3, obviously, uh, because this thing is pretty old. So, Alright, let's get her back together and closed up. Okay, so we're back here updating the firmware, and it's actually going on, but I'll try to do a little bit of an explanation of how, I, uh, how this happens. So, first things first is, you, you have to edit your host file. So on Windows, if you don't know where it is, it's at C, or Windows 10, and, well, since Windows XP, or actually Windows 2000, you're going to go to uh, C, Windows, System32, Drivers, Etsy. Etsy, you'll have your host file. Um, and then we're just going to uh, edit it. We'll, we'll go to Notepad, right? Or, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Notepad. And in Notepad, you're going to um, redirect all local traffic or, or for uh, resources.zune.net because Microsoft no longer uses this. They've shut down that service you're going to redirect it to um, your local host, so 127.0.0.1. Save the file, close it, and then boom, 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 you'll have to go on and download the um, the Zune update. Um, there's a file out there, Zune update. Uh, and unzip it into a directory, and it doesn't really matter where you put it. Now, if you're me and or, or you're like me, I don't like having you know a, a web server running in the background, um, and starting up all the time. So I just simply use Python, uh, Python version three. Um, if you install Python, um, I use a, use it an awful lot. Um, so it, the Python has a, a simple HTTP server that you just you you, know, you can use from the command line. So you cd into the directory run python.exe-m or http.server um, and then specify the port number is 80 because that's you know the default port 
uh, for the internet and then it starts up plug in your Zune device Zune's gonna um, open up the Zune player here or, and it's gonna then automatically connect it's gonna want to update it and you're gonna get this here screen and it's connected and then boom it's gonna run install the reinstall the firmware on the new um, hard, uh, hard drive that we just installed and then that's really it I mean there's not a whole lot to it okay so it it got stuck at um, at stage three um, so you just hit cancel then and you're fine uh, it'll it'll come back and your zoom player is now recognized and you have a solid state hard drive one thing I did fail to mention when I put initially put the hard drive in or the, the solid state drive in um, I, I put it in upside down and it kept doing a boot loop and I was like oh idiot <laughs> uh, I know why, why it's boot looping and then so I flipped the hard drive over uh, reinstalled it and whoop there she goes uh, she was you know, ready to to, to uh, be updated worked flawlessly um, I'm not familiar with Zune, so uh, you know uh, I'm a, I'm an an iPod guy, especially iPod classics, uh, big time. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm impressed. Uh, you know, Microsoft did a great job on it. This is the first time when this customer came in, handed this to me. It was the first time I'd ever actually held a Zoom player. Um, I'd seen them uh, in in the stores and looked at them, and uh, you know. Uh, but never actually put one in my hand and have never had the chance to play with one <laughs> um, That being said uh, I, I, I was really impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the build quality uh, and it stinks that the, this thing never got off the ground um, and Microsoft got a bad um, or It just they just didn't get their act together to compete with Apple um, the, the quality is there uh, but this is how we can breathe new life into these old devices and as long as we can still get a hold of batteries uh, these things can be maintained and, and even upgraded um, there's no I, I thought about installing Rockbox on it uh, but apparently Microsoft in all their infinite wisdom they lock the firmware down uh, they've got a key on it that um, they haven't released so the um, even though they don't make these they don't support them well, they're not going to give you that security key um, to upgrade the firmware, um, which really stinks. I wish they would do that because, uh, I mean, it's a cool device. It really is. Uh, I, I like it. Um, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, having a, one or two of these myself uh, just, just to have around and, and you know, play with. So, anyways, that's upgrading the Zune player. Uh, this, this is the, this I think this is the last version or maybe I, they might have been a, a Zune HD uh, I can't remember um, but uh, th this is the 120 and I put a 128 gigabyte uh, uh, solid state hard drive in it uh, works wonders now of course there's eight gigabytes of used space that was another um, caveat into it right there is that um, unlike the iPods where we can upgrade an iPod classic and you know, you can put a, a 256, hard, um, you know, CF card in it, or you know, or hard drive or whatever you want to put. You can put a 512 uh, and just keep going up. Uh, it doesn't matter the storage on these. It does. It only recognizes 120. You'll never get more than that. Uh, if you pop the pop something in there a bit larger, it's just not going to partition it. Uh, or you're just going to have a 120 gigabyte partition on here and then anything that's not used is just dead space that you're just not you're not capable of ever utilizing so keep that in mind if you're upgrading your zoom player